Son of Shawfoot, defender of the people, and I seek enlightenment. Yeah. Thrice have I enlightened thy father, and thrice shall I enlighten thee. What knowledge do you seek of the old oh, wrinkly one? <laughs> I seek thy guidance. I seek the route that will take me to the lair of the beast of Thrall. Thrall's lair is long and dangerous with many perils, and only one whose heart is true may find him and slay him. Is your heart true, Gawain, son of Shawfoot? <laughs> it is. Then listen carefully, for there are but two ways, bus or train. <laughs> should prefer the train. <laughs> so be it. The train it is. First, you must take any train from Victoria to Clapham Junction. <laughs> this train does have a buffet car. <laughs> ah, it is furnished with an buffet car. But beware, for soon shall they run out of small change. <laughs> and soon shall they try to ensnare thee in the long queue of frustration. <laughs> Do not eat what this buffet car does offer, for it is poisoned. <laughs> and will bring you naught but tummy trouble. <laughs> what must I at Clapham Junction? You must go to platform five. <laughs> but beware, the masters of bewilderment, for they shall try to confuse you and lead you in the wrong direction. <laughs> How shall I know them? By their uniforms, shabby coats of devil's blue and silly little hats. <laughs> From platform five, take any train to Crawley and then alight at Red Hill. And there, the keeper of the gate will ask you from whence you came. What must I say? Say this and only this. I got on at Mersham, mate. Have you got change of a tenor? <laughs> From thence you must go by bus or taxi to the high street, and there you will find the lair of the Beast of Thrall. Upon the high street. Next door to the Argos catalogue shop. <laughs> Thank you, master. I leave at sunrise. Folly! Folly! If you leave after 9.30, you can get a travel card. <laughs> and remember, he who takes the cab will arrive sooner but we'll have to listen to the interminable drivel about Fulham's chances in the cup. <laughs> now, be gone! <laughs> Thank you for calling Travel Information Exchange. You are held in a queue and your call will be answered shortly. <laughs> This is the Spanish town of Pamplona, home of the famous Bull Run, where wild bulls stampede through these narrow streets, and the young men of the town show off their bravado by placing these ribbons upon the horns of the bulls as they pass by. As you can see, there's rather a lot of clearing up to do after the bulls. No, 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 but... senor. It's not the bulls. It's young men. So they shit themselves. <laughs> Penny Pew is going to have her first baby. For Penny and her husband, Alan, this is the most important event of their lives. Like many women, Penny is a great believer in natural childbirth, the process of giving birth whilst immersed in water. So it's no surprise that Penny and Alan have decided that their baby will be born here, at the Jacques Cousteau maternity unit. <laughs> in 
some distress, so the midwife gives her gas and air to help her with her breathing. <laughs> Alan seems outwardly calm, but underneath, he's nervous. so the midwife calls the doctor, who's been on duty for 18 hours already. Seagull turns into a turnip Sticking in an Irish shoe To kangaroos marry and leap here Life is so strange Oh dear Remain And me Teacher in the spotlight Watching his pupils dilate Psychedelic wardrobe, watching Tony Curtis open in the garden fate. I need an easy line, so ABC. Life is so strange to me. And me. And me. Can't be arrested for putting your left sock on first. Knees up. Salvador Dali's a trombone and no returns. 